on Alex Escobar here with another video. I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the Kiwa Q Mini. Uh, I feel like this is the most closest thing to perfect when it comes to scooters. Uh, I'm really digging this scooter for a lot of reasons and I'm gonna run down those reasons right now in this overview. Let's get into it. We have the Kiwa Q Mini in all its glory. It's a pretty dope scooter. Very, very easy to uh, to assemble. Just pull that. So you go what's up, put up handlebars. Right. Power. I think I'll leave for like two seconds. Oh, wait, we have to get the key. Forgot. He was. Uh, electric scooters came with an alarm system and the reason why they did that is because anti-theft, whatever. But this is the way you turn on your key wall, but there's the other features. So this is the lock feature. Can you see that? Can you see? No? 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 There you go. To unlock. It's unlocked. If you want to power it on, you press this button. Right? Boom. Now it's on. As you can see, I didn't ride much, I didn't ride much. But it's fine because, like I said, this is for people who may be a little smaller than me, maybe the under 250 pounds. This would be great for you. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, scooter. Um, it's got some headlights, so you can see there. Get in front of this. Very strong, very strong headlights. Uh, I've always liked the key was headlights when it came to the scooters uh this also has a, a, a horn which is right here you press pretty loud i don't even know where the sound is coming from it might be from this little box here yes it is from this little box the keyword branding here the stem is solid but the main feature i love about the scooter is this right here this you feel that well you can't feel it but these are straight rubber tires. These things are amazing because if you guys remember sometime last year when I had the other, the Kiwa Hummer, the scooter had got a flat, right? These won't get flat at all. They won't get flat. They're rubber, straight rubber. And that's a plus side for me because you want to go out and ride with confidence and know that you will never run into the problem of getting a flat, right? So I think that's pretty dope. Another dope thing about it is the drum brake. See that brake? It's an electronic brake. It's in there. So no more hassles of disc brakes. Disc brakes are okay. But we all know the problems that come with disc brakes and that's, they screw up from time to time. They have problems, you know? These brakes is it's just like the Anchia. The Anchia I had, same thing. Uh, love the braking system on here. As you brake, you got your stop light there. Pretty dope. The only downfall I would say would have to be the acceleration. I hate this, this thumb throttle. Never been a fan of thumb throttles always been a fan of trigger throttles I've always said that but this one is not overly sized as the other thumb throttles that I have seen in the past but also with this braking system it gives you the confidence to ride and not have to worry about pressing the brakes on this side the benefits and not having a disc brakes um, the scooter comes with three modes uh, the first mode is on already you want to press this bottom button under the power button to change to mode two, to go a little faster, and then mode three. Uh, I'm gonna read the specs of this before I even get to the specs. You can also charge your phone battery, I mean, uh, your phone with this scooter because it has a USB port. So you can drop your phone in there or your wire to your phone there, have like a phone uh, holder here and basically ride out, you know what I'm saying? Charge your phone on your ride home to work, or if you just wanna hang out with a few friends, phone's dying, charge it up. But uh, 
pretty fast school that I'll run down the specs off camera, I mean on camera, but this pretty much the overview of the scooter. There's not many videos out there showing what this scooter looks like. So this is the scooter. I'm just giving you a quick, you know, look at it. And uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna get some B-roll going to show you every feature on the scooter. So let's get into that right now. to the specs now I hope you like that, that overview of it because not a lot of people on YouTube have shots of the scooter actually the look of the scooter I, I can't do any shots of me on it or riding it because I don't have someone else holding the camera that's, that's how it works but I wanted to run down the specs real quick so the Q mini is a 500 watt brushless motor with 60 amp hours right with the speeds of 37 miles an hour, max speed 37 miles an hour, distance will be 37 miles, they're claiming 37 miles. I can't give you a, a real specification if that's real or not. I can't give you facts if it is real or not. But as far as speed goes, I know it's, I know if I was a lighter person, it would definitely be hitting 37. I know if my, I know if my weight is probably hitting anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour, depending on the surface or what I'm riding on. Um, with a little bit of time that I did spend with it outside riding, it was a very comfortable ride. Like I mentioned earlier, the wheels do not have tubes in them. So they're pretty much solid rubber tires, but it's not like the anterior uh, tire where it was a hard tire. No, this was, uh, this here is, is, is a nice soft rubber. Not soft to the point where it'll fade off fast, but it has a nice mold to it. It, it. Like it's something you just have to try on your own to be like mindful of what I'm trying to say. It's something you would just have to try on your own so you can see where I'm coming from. But believe me what I'm telling you, it's not like your average uh, tubeless tire. It's definitely something more mushy. Like it's hard to explain. It's definitely comfortable. And what makes the ride even more comfortable is the shocking system. So when you're taking those bumps, you don't really feel the bumps because of the shocking system that's implemented in this scooter. So I give that a two thumbs up. Uh, the biggest feature for me would have to be the foot placement. Uh, you know, when riding scooters, you wanna have a proper balance. And this foot placement on where the scooter is at, uh, on the body, there's like a, a, a slope. And that's normally where you will put your foot at. Uh, with the Q Hummer, um, the one I had prior to this one that I never got to do a review on. The Q Hummer never had a foot placement. It just had the mud flap. And as you guys know, this is where I fell off the damn scooter. Uh, you know, because it wasn't properly balanced. But what I love about this one, it has that foot placement. It has the, the, the basically the, the, the slope in the back for you to race, rest your foot on and balance out your weight on the scooter. So that's pretty dope. Uh, I would definitely give the scooter... Uh, Four out of five, uh, I, I wish it would hold guys like me because I like to review scooters. My whole thing is I like to review scooters. I like to give out information out there because not everybody's average size. There's other people out there that are my, my height, my size, and they're like, you know, I need something to transportate on, but you can't get into detail with the scooter. Uh, I want to be that guy to give you the information on these scooters and, you know, does it work for me? Does it not work for me? Uh, I would definitely give this a go. If you're into the market, if you weigh less than 300 pounds, uh, I would say jump out the window, buy the scooter. On the site, it does specif it shows specifications saying that a person who's 450 pounds could ride it. Obviously, that's not true because I'm 330 pounds and the thin thing would just go down and every time I ride, it would just rub the bottom of the scooter and scrape the whole bottom. Uh, the Q... Uh, Hummer, on the other hand, 
if you're a big person, if you don't care about not having the foot rest area, and you want to ride that fast, really fast, and you want something that's durable, the Q Hummer is that that scooter because I rode it, never had a problem with it. It was fast, 800 watt. You want to go with that one. Uh, they actually have another model out right now. It's a little on the expensive side, but once I get it, I'll basically, you know, give you the information on how that one runs. But this one's a totally different animal. But that's that's for another video. We're sticking to the Q Mini at the moment. Uh, like I said, it's a definitely four out of five. If you're looking into buying a dope scooter, whether it's for delivery, whether it's for commute purposes, or just to ride out, hang out, this is definitely one of those scooters you want to look into. The link will be in the description if you want to buy this scooter. Uh, for the price that it's at right now, I think it's at uh, 1,000, I think 90, 1,080. It's not a bad price for, the, for what you're getting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they also have a seat option with it if you want to buy the seat. If you don't want to be the person who sits down all the time, I mean, who wants to stand up all the time riding your scooter, this scooter right here has a seat option. So you can buy a seat with it. Uh, I would say look into that. But that's pretty much been my overview slash review of the Kiowa Q Mini. I hope this helped you guys out. I know there's a lot of people out there that want to know about the scooter. Hopefully this video is information, it gave you the proper information that you needed to, uh, Look into what the scooter can do. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible as I can. Um, until then, to the next video, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, vlog life, rate, comment, subscribe, much appreciated. And I'll catch you on the web. Peace.